previously just sweating, and right now I'm like, oh, okay. All is right with the world. I'm okay. I could think straight. So you hit your first summer in your van and you're melting and you want to know a good solution. Okay, this happened to me last year, first year in my van, and it became summertime. I was like, okay, I'm just gonna go north. I was on the east coast, so I drove all the way up to Maine and it was still blazing hot. It was still in the 90s some days. And when it's 90 outside, it's, I don't know, I don't know the calculations, but it's like 10 or 20 or 50 degrees more, maybe not 50, just hotter in the van. It's like a tin box, it's a sauna. If you like, get off me. <laughs> if you like that sort of heat, then great. But most of us don't like to be sweating in our homes. So one of the things that I just knew I had to get was an air conditioner. I did a lot of research. I looked at a lot of different options and the power system that I have in my van is three 100 watt solar panels and a 300 amp hour lithium battery. So that's enough to run my fridge all the time, microwave, Ninja Foodie, lights, water pump, and whatever else I have in here, which is not that much. But it's not gonna be enough to run a full powered RV air conditioner, the one that sits on top of your roof. I don't have a system big enough for that. People said, well, just get a generator, just do this, just do that. You don't gotta do any of that. The only thing you should do is become part of the snack pack by hitting the subscribe button and the notification bell throwing a like on this video and wait till the end to see if I recommend the Zero Breeze. No, for my van, this is as much power as it can contain. I can't fit another solar panel. I don't want to put solar panels on the ground outside. For my van, this is all I can manage. People have also recommended getting one of those Arctic Breeze like cooler situations and I've heard mixed reviews on that. You have to keep adding ice to it, which total hassle. I don't want to be worrying about getting ice all the time. And then a lot of people suggested getting one of those portable evaporative coolers that you add water or ice to. And on a humid day, that doesn't work. And also I bought one from Amazon. I gave it a try and it literally did not cool me down at all. Even one of those ones for your house that you sit and you put the tube outside and stuff like that. Those are a little bit less BTUs and stuff like that. But then you got to worry about feeding the hose out the window and it's bigger and where you're gonna put it, it's a whole thing. Other people had recommended a mini split. I would have to attach it to the wall, I believe. This is a homemade built wall, and so I didn't want to hang anything extra heavy on there. Now, currently I'm in the desert, the Southern California desert. I'm sweating, as you can see, and every day it's at least 100 degrees. So when I'm in hotter climates, some of the little fans and stuff like that is just not gonna be enough. I also have a max air fan in my built into my roof. So when I was looking for a cooling solution, I needed something that didn't draw a lot of power, that cooled me off better than a fan, wasn't too large to fit in a small space. So the Zero Breeze hit all the marks. The Zero Breeze is 2300 BTUs, draws about 240 watts, about 15 or 16 pounds. It's not super big. It cools a 25 to 40 square foot area. This van living area is about 60 square feet. So it's not gonna cool the whole situation here, okay? It's going to basically cool your person. And for me, that's okay. So the Zero Breeze works for me. Now, I've since I've installed the Zero Breeze, I've gotten lots of questions as to the effectiveness of it. Now, as I mentioned before, I'm in over 100 degree weather. Most of the time, it works great. If I have this tube pointing at me, like let's just say right here, it's going to cool about this much of me. Okay, and then if I point it down to my legs, it's gonna cool like my leg area. If I'm in 90 degree weather, if I'm in 80 degree weather, then it cools, you know, a nice little situation here. Now I did create a microclimate with these blankets. So when I have this Velcroed up, it creates this cocoon so that when I'm blowing the air in just this section, it keeps it a little bit cooler. This answer is gonna be dependent on where the temperature is starting from. If you're starting from a day or a night that's already in the hundreds, probably not gonna work that great. If you're in an extremely humid climate, probably not gonna work as great. But if you're in 70s and 80s, it's gonna be great. Uh, even in the 90s, it works pretty well. But it's just when you get to those higher temperatures that the machine is running 
harder. It's, it's trying to work harder. You're starting from already hot. And when I put my hand on the Zero Breeze to the touch, it's hot. So sometimes I'll take this fan and I'll blow it on the Zero Breeze machine if I'm in 90 plus degree weather. One of the best tips that I can give is to try to keep your area cooler or try to keep this cooler during the day if you're, say if you're out and about and then you want to use this at night so that it has a starting temp that's a little bit lower. <sighs> Currently right now it's over 100 degrees and I'm sweating. I don't have anything running in here. If I turn this on and just turn up the to the highest, this tube comes out pretty far. I'm just, usually I'm laying down or sitting this way and I can already feel like a lukewarm cool. It's cooling up. It does take a couple minutes to get cold. So now I can definitely feel like a more breezier cool feeling. I'd say it's covering from like here to here, this little section right here, and like maybe around like this. Now I was previously just sweating and right now I'm like, oh, okay. All is right with the world. I'm okay. I could think straight. <laughs> and it just feels so good. Now over time it's going to get cooler and cooler depending on the ambient temperature. It's kind of like if you opened your freezer and like stood in front of it on a hot day. It's that feeling, you know, it's not cooling your whole situation, but it's just that like <sighs> sweet relief. And since you don't have to stand in front of a freezer, you could just point this thing at you, a nice little tropical breeze. And by having a hose, you can point it to different parts of you to just like cool yourself off. Now, after a while, you know, the section is getting a little bit cooler and things are starting to cool down. So it's not just only going to cover this section right here. For me, the biggest downfall of the Zero Breeze is the cost. I think it's extremely expensive for what you're getting in terms of the BTUs. But listen, I had to have something and fans were not enough. So this was the solution that I landed on. So even though I didn't love spending the money to purchase the Zero Breeze, I do recommend it. Now, I'm not being sponsored by Zero Breeze, but I do have an affiliate relationship with them, meaning that if somebody uses my link to purchase a Zero Breeze, I do get a little commission. So if you are thinking about getting it, I would appreciate if you use the link in the description of this video. And for the next week, there's an $80 discount. If you use the code coolest moment, you'll get $80 off between July 20th and July 27th, 2022. If you're watching this in the future, check back because I might have another discount code at that time. So if you know me, you know, I would not recommend something unless I'm using it and loving it. So I do recommend the Zero Breeze. I personally think it's worth it. A lot of you have asked if I would buy it again and I would, even though it was expensive, I would buy it again. I've been using it for about four months, so I'll probably do another review when I hit the one year mark, but right now it's the heat of the summer and it's working well for me. So in the comments, let me know what you're using in your van or vehicle. And if you get the Zero Breeze, let me know and let me know how you like it. So you now people are been sick if I wasn't either using it or I full power. Oh, I should have really did some research on this. Snack time. Snack time.